sure.
Yeah, of course, if when we're done, we're going to put on the YouTube. That's normal. Let's, let's everyone do that. Right? Yeah. yeah so. This is just begin to think about that. And because that can be a really different... For example, the, uh, the Picasso, he done one. And uh, Jason Park done one. Yeah. He's the movie. Yeah, so... We... Okay, just wait for me, I'm going to tell you, I'll be right back. Alright, come on. You, you think it. As such, I'm just getting a different. Huh. Done? Not yet? Nah. Mm Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So is it from the start? Is it clearish? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And but but if you say this thing, I will feel shy. In some way. There's no need to feel shy. This your painting. Your painting is more of an exposure than yourself on camera. Okay. A painting is much more of, of the person's uh, life than we ever get from conversation. And do you need to have her eye contact something? No. We're in conversation, so yeah, it doesn't we're we should be talking to each other. Nah, chin, sit back where you are. Alright. Okay. So, gen general speaking, <laughs> that kind of you fly <laughs> <laughs> That's a real live show. Uh, general speaking, and what do you, what do you think my our works. We'll, we'll, start with, we'll start with this painting that we're looking at here. Um, uh, immediately, you're struck by it, even if I didn't know you, the artist, uh, I would immediately see that there's a very strong Chinese and East Asian influence within the work. The, the brush strokes are uh, reminiscent of um, calligraphy brush strokes. They're very, very vibrant, they're very flowing, and uh, uh, very demonstrative of the brushwork itself. And the, the colour that you choose um, quite often is, is reds and gold and blacks, which are uh, very traditional colours in, in your part of the world. 
and red being a, a, a colour of fortune and, uh, and, and goodness. Um, your compositions and the inclusion of uh, found images and photographs that are quite often things that show the collision of two cultures. You have uh, used photographs, uh, newspaper photographs and fashion photographs yeah. who are from China or Taiwan but uh, dressed in a very Western way and being, uh, being displayed to the public in, in a very Western way, which is showing the, the influence of one culture on another. Uh, um, and there's a series of your paintings, uh, four, that start uh, on, on the right hand side. There's yeah. one with, uh, with uh, a painting of, a, of a, almost a line drawing uh, in paint of uh, a very traditional chet, like a Chinese traditional chet. Yeah. And as you pan across from left to right across the four canvases, the, this, the first on the right is uh, much busier and it's an obvious, uh, very figurative painting of yeah. the chair. And then there is less figuration in the second. And then the inclusion of uh, these found photographs for the, as fashion models. One of which is inverted, which I, I think is a very nice touch. I think the, 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 the impact of cultures on each other can uh, turn uh, your own experience or your own reading of yourself in the world uh, on its head and make you understand your place differently. Um, and you end with the final one, which has got another one of these found images in it, which is uh, much more sparse. There's, there's, there's less in the painting, there's much more negative space. And, and the colour balance there has gone more to the blues and whites and less of the red, which I read as being more addictive of the, the Western culture. Yeah. And what, you know, the, the right is in, in the East and the left is in the West. And they're, they're a very interesting uh, group of paintings. They work very well together. You can, you can see some of these uh, both physical and external journey uh, you know, coming from the East and moving to the West, but also an internal journey, a journey of uh, you know, self-discovery and a journey of trying to um, somehow balance uh, what it is to, to, to interact in a different culture yeah. and, and, and I, I suppose uh, an analysis of you know, what is the value of, of culture uh, and when defined so, so broadly. Uh, you know, with, there is one culture truly, it's yeah. just infinitely diverse, it's, yeah. it's changed, yeah. it changes constantly and it's, it's very different in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. the, the trying to understand what is what is the value of one's own uh, experience culture as in our know, youth when we're growing and becoming a, a person and to how once we have all of that as backstory how that that's, uh, that influences how we then experience a different culture your your experience of western culture would be entirely different to mine because my my backstory is western culture yeah, as yeah, yeah. as my my experience of eastern culture is completely different to yours because you know my, my grounding is yeah. western yeah and if, i think if you, if you use only one sentence to describe the, how you feel or, or just like two or two sentences and what 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 you gonna say about it is any well, um, if you've told someone they never seen before, and what do you think of chill or kind of is what? But it's easier. It's easier for me to uh, if we're speaking to somebody uh, yeah. who's never met. It's easier for me to describe you through your art, or to describe your art, as yeah. opposed to describing you as an artist, because we know each other personally. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, so there is art. yes, there, oh, there is there okay. is a personal side to that, and okay. um, and I would describe your work and the work that you're doing mm -hmm. as a, a, fasc a fascination in the complexity and beauty of the collision of cultural experience, mm -hmm. of like almost diametrically opposed cultural mm -hmm. experience and how this can be uh, confusing and, uh, and beautiful and complex all at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'd say a, a beautiful complexity in cultural combination okay. or collision. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Sure. Did you did you got all philosophy? Or something? So yeah. you already have something. In, in well, this mind. is my reading of your work. Okay. So, uh, outside of my reading of yeah. your work and, uh, and how I'm uh, how I'm understanding it, because of course the yeah. the viewer is very rarely getting the same reading from the work as as the artist is, is putting in. We may we may get a snippet of it, but yeah. we don't 
you don't get full understanding without yeah. an yeah. explanation. Yeah. Um, what, what is the philosophy behind your painting? Yeah. Right now, in this period of time, I'm, I'm in London in the studio in the, uh, UEL. And this period of time, I'm, my philosophy is talking about, talking about uh, the calligraphy, ge geography uh, painting. It's uh, because I, I'm, my culture is come from Chinese, paint, Chinese culture. And they, there is the Eastern system about the uh, about the Chinese painting, it's really different philosophy, philosophy of uh, English English one. And but for it is more like a, a, a it's like a meditate and it's like an action, automate. Uh, it's like an expression. Is, is so an almost uh, an almost automatic form yeah. of painting. Yeah, it's like action. It, I use the whole body to move the the line, the gesture line. Right. So when, when I'm doing painting, it's like doing action. Yeah. So it's it's like, what informs your choices uh, when it comes to the found images, the 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 inclusions, the the collage parts? Of your work, yeah. Time to a collage. Uh, two two sides. One side is uh, consciously, and another side is unconsciously. The one piece I done in the in the gallery. The the dark part is unconscious part, and the bright part is uh, conscious part. So it's about yin and yang, something and negative, positive, and. So happiness and sad, sadness, and even crossing the Eastern and Western uh, philosophy. So about it's, one, to have one is, you need the other. It's a journey of, of my life, and the, I clutch the time, the different, like a past, present and the future, different time in, the, in my one, one, in my artworks, in, in one piece. So I collage the timing, I collage the, uh, the, uh, the negative, positive part. So of, I, of that very moment when you're yeah. creating that painting. Yeah. 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 The, so this I'm going to do in the future too. And also I use some parts from photo and some parts I'm, I just do the hand, hand painting. Okay. So, so I I would like to build a bridge to including uh, something conflict, something con contradiction. Yeah. Yeah, something opposite. But I I would like to try to find a balance and try to collage in, together in, in the same painting. Yeah. So you have the 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 created uh, visuals of your painting you know, that you physically created yourself that never existed until your hand yeah. hit that or your brush hit, hit that canvas yeah. and then found images over which you had no control except mm -hmm. for the choosing of an image yeah. and the choice of that image is informed by yeah. how you're feeling at that moment yeah. and uh, and the use of the um, the use of a found image on top of a painting mm -hmm. is is there for the contradiction, but you're trying to use them in such a way as to achieve a balance between yeah. these two abrasive things. That's, right. that's, that's very interesting. Okay. I think I think you achieve it very well as well. Thanks. Okay.
Okay. 